got something new in the mail that I thought I would um, open up along with you and it is the Core Watercolors by Golden and this is the Earth Color set and um, let's see what it says about it. It has um, a special kind of binder um, which is supposed to give it more intensity and clarity it says. Um, the uh, colors that comes in this set are Naples Yellow, Transparent Brown Oxide, Venetian Red, Sap Green, Indigo, and Raw Umber. Uh, the only one of these colors that I had uh, in the core brand was um, the Sap Green, which I do really like, and I use a lot of green, so it doesn't bother me to have more. But what I'm looking at is wanting to get some good um, travel watercolors, um, a, a, a small set of curated watercolors for um, travel traveling. So I'm kind of hoping that these, I'm going to try these out and see how far the set gets me. Let's see if I can open this. I have one other course set and it was, I can't remember what it's called, but it was the super bright colors and it's got a little booklet here um, with all of their colors so that's kind of nice. That's really nice. I think these are supposed to be kind of um, like granulating. I don't know if they use that word but kind of that effect. So we'll see. Take these little tubes out. Okay, I will eventually put these in half pans. But for now I'm just going to pull out one of my little um, ceramic palettes and I will try to put who um, this one's by. I got this on Etsy. It came broken. I don't know if you can see that there's a crack down there, but and I glued it back together. But he was so gracious to send another um, little palette for me, and I just love the little wonkiness and rig. Like the other palette was entirely different, um, so I kind of love the wonkiness of those. So I have six colors here and I'm just gonna the Venetian Red the Transparent Brown Oxide leave these in the right order. This is the Naples Yellow This is the sap green. The indigo. And this is the raw amber, which I'll just put over here. First thing I will do is um, swatch these in my little swatch book here. And I'm just using a water brush. I'm gonna
Okay, I'm just going to label these real quick and then I can... coffee shop and did this sketch so let's just see this is an interior and I'm imagining these more for um, exterior urban sketching but this is what I have today so uh, let's give it a try <music> So I've tried wet on wet uh, first, just so I can see how this bleeds and spreads and how they blend together um, just on their own. And then from here, I let it dry and did some ink doodles, which I did not film, um, on it. And then now I am adding more watercolor on top of the dried watercolor, just because I like to see how well it layers, how much it reactivates with um, what's underneath. Uh, I typically do work in a lot of layers and so this is kind of important to see not only how it how it bleeds um, wet but also how it works with wet on top of dry and um, on top of the ink and you know just the whole effect. So here I'm just basically playing and doodling uh, while I'm checking that out. I'll also use, end up using some gold uh, Posca paint pen, acrylic paint on top of it um, to see how that goes. And I do, do use a white gel pen as well before it's all done. <music>
was pretty happy with these. I think that you could do a lot with just this set. If I added to it, I think I would want to add a maybe a more vivid uh, yellow. I feel like I might be missing just as far as um, a mixing color. But you you could do a lot as in a landscape with these colors, which is probably what they're you know more inclined towards. But I do think you can achieve some very pretty um, grays and you know building colors, some brick color um, with these. And so I all in all, I'm pretty happy. I I feel like they weren't right as intense as some of the other colors I've used but layered up they you know do achieve a good intensity. I will say that I feel like some other brands maybe have some better granulation than these do which I personally prefer however these are a slightly lower price point as well so um, I guess it all depends on how you want to use these and what you want to use them for, but I do think they will be a good addition to my palette. I hope this helps if you're thinking about purchasing these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.